In this video, we're going to make a generative sequencer. Let's get started. So what is generative music? Generative music is when we design a computer algorithm that will create music on its own. We can use pure data to program a patcher that can randomly create a melody or a beat using probability. Let us build a generative patcher that will randomly create a new beat every two measures. In our previous tutorial, we made a step sequencer, and instead of the musician deciding on which notes we'll play, we're going to let the computer decide. As we can see here, a new kick drum pattern is being generated automatically every two measures. Let's begin patching. So this part right here will output a bang message every two measures and sends it out via a send object. Next, we'll learn about random object. So this random object, with 100 as the argument, will output a random number between 0 to 99 every time it receives a bang message. So why do we need to use probability? Can we just have a random object with 2 as the argument so that we can have something like this? Here we have a patcher in which every note has 50-50 chance of playing or not every time a new pattern is generated. The gate will open when the number generated is 1, and it'll close when 0 is generated. But not all notes are equally important. So what does that mean? When we think of kick drum patterns in popular music, the kick usually lands on beat 1 and 3, and the snare lands on 2 and 4. This is called a backbeat, and it's the foundation of many songs that we listen to. So, we want higher chance of the kick playing on beat 1 and 3, and much lower chance of playing on beat 2 and 4, in order to make room for a snare. Also, with this current patcher, there is a chance that the kick drum will not play on beat 1, which might result in a pattern that is a bit difficult to latch onto for the listener. Look, I know we want to break past musical conventions and be super experimental and cool, like Autechre for example. But if you listen to their tracks like Pen Experts, which was made using Max MSP, we can roughly deconstruct the beat into the kick snare kick snare pattern. And this results in a track that is both angular and experimental, but also groovy and musical. So let's program in a way in which the kick will play 100% of the time on beat 1 and 3, and the probability will be low for beat 2 and 4 and everything else will have a varying degree of probability. Let's learn how to use this less than object. Let's put 80 as the argument. So, when the random object outputs a number lower than 80, the less than object will output a 1, and this select 1 object will be triggered and output a bang message. And if a number that is higher than 79 is randomly generated, this object will output a 0, and the select 1 object will not output a bang message. So, 80% of the randomly generated number will result in a bang. By attaching random 100 object and the less than object to the toggle object, which is connected to the gate, we now have a random beat generator. Let's take a closer look. Every two measures, the random object is triggered and outputs a random number between 0 to 99. And if it's lower than this argument number, the gate will be opened and vice versa. So here it is for all of the notes. As we can see here, beat 1 and 3 have 100% chance of playing, and beat 2 and 4 has very low probability. The other probabilities are arbitrary. Here it is in action. And let's add random snare and hi-hat generators. Congrats, we got ourselves a random beat generator. What can we do next? For the sake of not making this video too long, here's a list of suggestions. Go experiment, have fun, and make tons of music. I'll see you in the next video.